morning here with crazy Johnny having a little fun cleaning yard and in about a minute everything's gonna be for sale cuz whoops got to get used to this, doing stuff backwards anyway so we're cleaning yard we got a lot of stuff coming and going I'm gonna flip you back one of our biggest problem children right now are RVs so right now we got one two three four five six seven eight might be eight we also just recently dismantled um, not one not two but three campers and a boat why do we have this dumb stuff do you ask you probably don't but I'm gonna tell you anyway because for some reason people think it's a good idea to drop their stuff out on the side of the road or out in the desert or here and there and then what happens is some innocent third party again even though we are a business on the towing side it's not our job to have to pick up after people and so we get these kind of things now I will say this Ford here is an exception it uh, it burnt obviously and the gentleman couldn't get rid of it and he paid us a fair price to dispose of it now the rest of them for the most part uh, one was a dead man's trailer he died in it we we just killed it uh, no pun intended uh, let's see let's let's take a walk over here I'm gonna have to do this in about three doggone videos because I want to keep them short but I also want to make a point. I didn't want to make a point, but I'm making a point. Doggone Johnny rambling. So, left abandoned. Left abandoned, left abandoned, left abandoned, left abandoned, and then shot to ever loving gravy because this vehicle, yeah, I guess we'll go to the, towards the back end a little bit was left abandoned out on Castle Hot Springs Road. There's another abandoned. Something had to go pick up because somebody wouldn't take care of their breakdown stuff. Anyway, that big old girl was out on Castle Hot Springs. <clears throat> I don't know how it got to where it was, but it sat and they started shooting at it. And then they shot at it some more. And by the when I first saw it, the tires were still holding there, it wasn't too, too bad. They blew the glass out of it. When we went back to get it, pretty much everything under the sun had been shot. I'm not 100% sure if the uh, V10 in it survived. I'm kind of hoping, maybe. Um, and reason being is here at Crazy Johnny's, if you happen to need one-ton parts, if you happen to need RV parts, um, anything from rims and tires to motors and trannies, we have no choice but to demo these. We can't take them to pick apart. Matter of fact, one of these, I'm thinking it might be that one, was left in front of pick apart, and we had to go pick it up. It is abandoned. Kind of sucks. So anyway, I've got a Chrysler Big Block and a Chrysler Big Block. That's probably got a Chevy in it. I can't remember if it has a motor left in it. Nope, that one's gone already. A V10. The one I'm working on has got a 460, and then I think I got at least one or two big blocks Chevys over there. Uh, rear ends, big gas tanks, fuel tanks, stuff like that. Um, we will be clearing them out. Um, I might do a little bit of videoing on how, let's see, where's time? Oh, not bad. Only about four minutes. We're going to keep them short, I think. Anyway. Anyway. Uh, and if somebody knows a different way of getting rid of these or if they want to buy a whole one like the uh, oh I can't remember what this one is and it would be a good example and I shouldn't have walked away from it right quick let me show you guys this tell a friend maybe somebody wants a hunting lodge so this old girl's got a dodge motor in it and I know for a fact that the old flagship runs and moves um, because I watched it move around Chino 
they'd set it up with the little baby gas tank on it, just enough so they could move it, because they didn't have no place to store it. I will have a title on it, and uh, from an interior standpoint, if I remember right, it's kind of a blank slate. Somebody took the time to uh, start kind of emptying it. No, they didn't. I don't know. Anyway, but it's a runner. It's a driver. For what it's worth, it may be uh, it may be scrap metal. I hope not. It'd be nice to get rid of it. We have sold a couple, so let's walk back over by this Ford. Like I said, we might do uh, do a little video on uh, tearing it apart. It's kind of a shitty process, and especially one with that's been burnt, but. I think I got a plan. I don't know if it's going to work, but I think I got a plan. I've done a few of these at the house, and it's messed up. And for anybody that really cares to know, you should watch a couple of these videos to see how flimsy these are. So, from what we can find, them screws right there, and probably whatever's on the outer edge is all that holds this in. If you look, did they maybe staple it down to what, steel? None of this stuff is really the the floor frame. I gotta get back off it. The floor framing in that is kind of attached, or I mean, it's attached to the truck frame. But the actual tie it down, you can just be, you can see the screws. There's not a lot, you know. A couple on the outsides. There ain't much holding the body to the chassis. So, if we get rid of the get rid of the steel and pull the refrigerators and mercury switches, they'll take them. So I'm working on a way to basically very I don't know if I say easily but brutally hook onto that stuff and uh, pull it apart. So anyway, we're probably gonna call that a video. We got a lot going on. We're trying to get some shit done, cleaned up. Y'all have a great day, and maybe we'll see you up the road.